Hey guys, what is up? It is No Help, and welcome back to another video. Today, if you guys like the video, make sure to smash the like button and maybe even consider subscribing for more. I'm actually currently going for the Dragon Warhammer, and I'm running incredibly low on Zalra scales, which I need to power my toxic blowpipe. So today, I'm going to be trying out a method of fishing sacred eels. Alright, so to fish sacred eels, you're going to need 87 fishing, and another kind of weird requirement is you need 72 cooking. Now, pretty much how these creatures work is once you fish them, you have to use a knife on them, and they will give you Zalra scales. Um, I'm going to throw up on screen right now the different levels for all the Zalra scales, so but depending on your cooking level, you'll actually get more scales uh, the higher cooking level you have, which even past 99 which is kind of interesting um so the highest amount you can get is nine and the lowest amount you can get is three um which is still like pretty good money right just for how afk this method is they like i said require 87 fishing they will give 105 experience and the bait used is fishing bait so fairly cheap to go ahead and catch Another really cool part about fishing the sacred eels is they have one of the best chances in the entire game on getting the fishing pet, the heron. They have a 1, one in 99,000 chance. Doesn't seem like that great, but if you compare it to something like leaping trout and salmon, 426,000, um, even carom ones is 170,000. These do, however, take a lot longer to catch, but it is an interesting option to go for the fishing pet AFK. Alright, so this is the gear that I take to the sacred eels. I go ahead and bring angler, full angler outfit, which this does is give you a 2.5% experience bonus. You don't need to take this, but you might as well. I bring the rod as blessing. What this does, it will give you a chance to catch 8% chance to catch two fish. Um, kind of niche. You only bring this if you need it. I also would, uh, I'm bringing the max cape in order to go ahead and get there. Just bring a house, teleport, whatever you might need. And uh, I also bring the harpoon to boost. Some people say this doesn't make a difference, but I just take it wherever I go anyways. As for the inventory, I have the fishing rod, some fishing bait, and a knife at the bottom. Okay, so starting this off, you want to go to a fairy ring. The best fairy ring that I have is in my house, so let's go right to my house right now. And you want to type in the letter B J S. Now, the, the way you can remember this is Big Juicy Snake. I forget where I've heard that. The Zalra the teleport is B J S. Big Juicy Snake. <laughs> um, anyways, use that and cross over the the platform here. This does require, however, 76 agility. If not, you can go ahead and use a Zal Zal Zalandra teleport. I can't even pronounce that word, but this will cost you a little bit of money. Um, but it is a little quicker to use that. But anyways, we are at the Sacred Eel fishing spot now. And it's as simple as just clicking on the spot. Now, it does take you a little while to actually catch these creatures. So this, this is what makes it incredibly AFK. Um, so far, it doesn't seem like it's going to be that much money per hour, but it does seem like a very good AFK option to do. Similar to something maybe like sharks or monkfish, but this is kind of different because you get cooking experience at the same time. As you can see, we still haven't even caught in a single sacred eel yet, so I'm kind of curious to see how many catches we will get in the full hour now there is a few spots along the coast here so whenever one does disappear you can walk to the next one so as you can see right here my rod is blessing actually um the perk went off and i got two fish at the start which is interesting because you also save the fishing bait when that happens so kind of cool kind of cool but we're up to three now as you can see with the um what's this called the angler's outfit we do get the 107 experience instead of the 105 so that does help out a little bit um doesn't make the biggest difference in the world but yeah you pretty much just go ahead and fish a whole inventory of these things once you do get a full inventory of them all you have to do is use your knife on them and they will get a random amount of zalra scales now you can click this really fast and as you can see the cooking xp here is pretty cool very interesting method that I've never actually really done before. Um, the only other way to get Zalra skills in the game is to kill the boss Zalra, which I know a lot of people have a lot of difficulty with. 
Um, if you say got your blowpipe from Zalra and you never want to go back to Zalra again, this could be a great option to go ahead and get yourself some of these skills. It will not be the fastest method in the world, however, but it could be an interesting way for you to AFK for a couple of months, get yourself a ton of scales, and uh, have enough charges for your blowpipe, right? Now, I won't be doing this probably long term because I have a lot of other fishing methods that I like better than this, but I think it's a very interesting method. I really want to try some more of these niche methods out. But anyways, we're going to test it for a full hour today. I reset my experience uh, for fishing and cooking on the side, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys in an hour if anything interesting happens i will obviously click record wish me luck okay so right now we are 35 minutes into the grind so we still have another 25 minutes to go i just want to talk a little bit about this method so far very afk only a couple of times like i'm gonna say four or five times we've had to move at all we've already caught 172 of the sacred eels and surprisingly we've already gained more cooking experience than fishing experience so this could be like a really cool method for maybe an ultimate iron man one great thing about this spot as well is you will never have to leave because the zara skills do stack you could get a hundred thousand you could get a million before you left um so as much fishing bait as you bring that's the next time you're gonna have to bank very cool option and i recommend you put your knife here at this spot because basically if you go at the bottom here i can click th this and always get the last one before um it kind of reminds me to the blood rune crafting where you would kind of place the chisel but uh very afk method i really like it and it seems to be better than i was expecting i thought it would be a lot worse scales than this but it is probably because I have 99 cooking and 99 fishing. So maybe if I was say the exact requirement for this, it would be a lot worse. But uh, yeah, we've got another, you know, 20-ish, 25 minutes. So I'll see you guys then. And there we go. Timer is up. One hour has been completed here at the Sacred Eels. Let's go ahead and just finish off these last ones by knifing them up. And honestly, man, this has been a pretty chill hour. Like I said, very AFK method. I maybe only clicked like on a new fishing spot like 10, maybe 15 times in the hour. The clicky part is when you have to like obviously put them all into the scales, but uh, damn. All right, so here is the experience that we actually got in the hour. So 20, like overall, we gained 61.9K experience um 27.5k fishing and 33.4k cooking so if you were to do this you would get 99 in both skills and make a ton of money the herb lore was obviously from a genie lamp but uh yeah overall pretty good a lot better than i was expecting to be honest okay now what you've all been waiting for how much money did we make in one hour 327k gp in the zalrus scales per hour so obviously not the best method in the world but you have to remember that this is fishing like this is literally fishing man in a few like two to three hours of afk i guess three hours of afk you make a million gp pretty crazy to be completely honest with you and for how chill it is as well i i would definitely come back here again now for zalra skills it's not the best right you could definitely get more Zalra skills if you just go ahead and kill Zalra. So obviously in the future when I need more of these Zalra skills, I will just go kill the boss. And I honestly find Zalra a lot of fun. But for fishing, if you need some extra scales or something, this can be a pretty good method. Or say you're caught up on another account, you need something to do for a little while. I, I would recommend coming here, man, and stock, stocking up on some scales or at least making some money. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the entire video today. If you went ahead and watched the whole video, comment 1938 down in the comments below. Thank you guys, and I will catch you in the next one. See ya later.